What's up, guys? So we're to another just boost on episode, but we out here. Slain pigs feeding families, you know. Um, anyway, today we uh, we're gonna check some of our traps today. Uh, lately, I know we've never been posting kind of for a while already because of the base was shut down and stuff. Um, but we've been we've been setting traps, we've been putting traps out, and um, people were uh, I don't know trespassers took some of my trail cams. Um, they broke a few of our um, our traps, our uh, our traps that we trapped the pigs in. And do I know who those guys are? Fuck, I don't even know. They're fucking assholes. But ah, uh, it is what it is. You know, they're always gonna they're always gonna be haters. But today, today my helper today is going to be my son. Say hi. Say just boost them. Say, Come on, baby. Say just boost them. Yeah, <laughs> shame, he's shame. Um, but yeah, he's my helper today. Take him out during the day. Today's Saturday, and it's um, it is Saturday the. Uh, let me see, Saturday the third. Um, it's kind of rainy, stormy, sloppy, swampy. We'll check a few of our traps and stuff like that. We also go check some of the. Some of our other friends uh, traps. Oh uh, well, Mitch. If you guys, if you guys know Mitch's from Boars No More. Um, I know he been he been hitting a lot of pigs in the front lately. Um, so we're gonna check some of his traps to see what's up. And but we're still driving up one of the trails right now. And we'll see where these piggies at. If there's even if they're even around. And I know that we had some. I reset the trap last night and well not last night uh yesterday after uh after work I set them so yeah looks like we ain't got nothing in it but we're pulling up to it right now um we're gonna actually go and pull out the we're gonna go pull out the trail cam and see what's up with the trail cam so here's the Here's the trap. So this is this is just a smaller trap that I use that I can just mobilize and move them all around, move them wherever. Um, but uh, we're gonna go out here and check out the trail cam. We're gonna put the trail cam down. So uh, I don't see no I see no tracks around here, but they do. This is where they've been coming. The pigs been coming down and coming up. So you can kind of see the way the trail is like right here. Yeah, it goes all the way around and it goes all the way up here, up into that. And they just keep walking down the mountain. Um, but this is where, um, this is where uh, the guys broke one of our traps. Um, broke one of our traps, also took one of the trail cams. Um, not in this particular area, but was it was a little bit more down. And uh, yesterday, when I came to work, I checked this trap, and it was kind of it was kind of fucked up um, because the trap was kicked over, the trigger was pulled. It was just crazy. It was crazy. So we're setting we set our little trail cam right here. We're gonna pull this bad boy down. And we're gonna check it and see if there's any pigs around. Um, so if there's any pigs um, on this trail cam, I'm gonna post it or I'm gonna put it in this video. If we find any other pigs in this in this uh, trail cam, so. Ugh. So I'm gonna check this trail cam real quick, and um, we'll see see if there's any if there's any action on here. So again, the guys who took my trail cams, I mean they can't get in it, you know. There's a password on it, so yeah. A whole bunch of assholes that took my trail cam, but whatever. So it is what it is, bro. I guess needed more than I did, cause you had to take them. Whatever. 
So it looks like we only got 11. Look, we only got 11 videos. This fucking cat keeps coming around. Okay, so we're gonna just keep this cam for now. Um, we'll probably come back and grab this trap. And probably gonna move it. We're probably gonna move the, the trap somewhere else. Um, so we have a few more traps that we're gonna we check. This is the first trap that we check in. Um, we're gonna go out and check some more traps and um, see what we get. Hopefully we got something today. Um, but for now, uh, this is all. Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about like what was happening with the traps and and people have been, um, they've been uh, just trespassing. And um, I get, I mean, I cannot blame nobody because I don't know, right? I don't know who's actually doing the, who's actually doing it. But, so I said, like I set up a few tr uh, trail cams just to see and catch them trespassers. Um, but like I said, yeah, we had another trap like this that also broke that trap. Um, they took the trail cam. Um, we had a pig down on the bottom in this ravine. I mean down under the tree where some of the videos are shot uh, We had about a 30 pounder inside the small 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 trap um, Somebody had released it All right, we back we back all right, we're about to uh, check the second trap See what we got boys about to pull off on the side of the road. Oh, boom. Yeah, these trolls is not too bad. They're not crazy. Um, but this is uh, gotta check some of these trolls over here. That's the beautiful hill over there. Mahalo to Stacy for taking care of Malama the hell. You know, takes a lot to take care of something beautiful like that. <laughs> What's up, son? You okay? All right. You gonna Shaka? Shaka. All right. It's the half Shaka, the Tom Shaka. So over here is basically like the wetlands. You would think there's a lot of pigs that hang out in the wetlands over here. But I guess there is some pigs that come out this side. Not not much, I guess, but I, I would think more pigs would be over here because it's a water source, so. But like I said, I don't think they drink salt water because this is kind of like brackish water over here. But over here is a very, very well protected. Uh, we do have uh, native birds. Um, not too sure what is the, the name of the native bird, but it's like black and red. So this is why they also got a whole bunch of trail cameras on top of these poles over here. So they can keep an eye on um, the birds and stuff like that out here. It's very beautiful out there. It's really nice, peaceful, quiet. Um... But yes, our uh, environmental X guys take good care. Uh, uh, well, I mean, he have a lot of people are taking care of it, but it's a beautiful, beautiful wetlands. It's like swamplands, bro. Like, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, we we are about to pull up to one of the traps. Again, this is not my trap. This is Brown and Mitch's trap. Um, since I'm already out here, I'm also gonna go check his traps, and if the body got piggies inside. I just shoot him on text message and let him know that he get pigs and stuff like that. Oh, that's crazy, crazy. Beautiful day though. It's not as uh it's not as rainy as I thought it would be. So we're gonna go walk out. We're gonna walk out and go check this trap over here. I'm sure you guys how his trap looks like. It's actually pretty fucking nice. It's pretty good. It's better than mine. It looks be it looks better than mine. You wanna stay in here? You come with dad. You stay here? You wanna go with me? Okay, come on. 
Uh, take your seatbelt off. Okay, come this side, son. Come walk across. <clears throat> Waiting for my son. It's my helper. So yeah, we're gonna check out this, this this trail right here. It's a little nice trail. It's maybe in like 20 yards. Um, last time I came over here, like oh I don't know, but over here it's kind of uh, for me. I, I don't like it over here. It's kind of dangerous. Last time I came over here, there were like a bunch of fucking pigs hanging out here. So it looks like brother Mitch came. He came pretty uh, just recently, as you can tell. This is his trap. So his trap is pretty big. I'll say at least like 20 by 10 feet, 10 feet by 20. You can see inside his trap. He uh, water sauce like always. You know, you need to get the water sauce. You get the automat the auto feeder. Also comes in there, put some slop. I don't want to go into his trap because I don't want to put my scent all over the place. But if you kind of see how his in his scent, pigs go in there, they eat by the stick, the nose hit the stick, the stick get disengaged, and then the door the door gets slammed. But he got a prime estate over here, bro. This is a beautiful spot he can put his on. Um I know there's a, a bunch of other ones that he has too. We're probably going to go check theirs one. Take you guys around. Kind of show you guys a little smoking vloggy and vloggy hunting, trapping, and hanging out with the sun. Son, he shaka. He said, just push them. He said, push them. Push them. Come on, son. Follow that. Um, I know a part of people <laughs> are going to say, like, ho ho, are you crazy? You took your son on. This kind of trips like that, but I gotta teach them, you know, and get them, start them young, get them used to to these pigs, um, and just teach them how to how to provide for your family yeah, when you get older. Yeah, there you go. It's a good thing about having sons, bro. It's fucking amazing. I always have a 24/7 buddy with me. I mean, not, not when I'm hunting, but just, I, I have a buddy. Okay, you ready? Okay. Come on. Here you go. You can get up. Okay, go in your car seat. How are you? Look you. Look, <laughs> holy moly. You got my whole truck dirty. Please, please get, please see on. Daddy, I hope you, hold on. Okay, I'll see you guys a little bit later. We'll check the other traps. Okay. So, I don't think the traps, I don't, I don't think the pigs been coming over here lately. Um, but this is one of the traps right there. Same like the auto one that we have. So basically, they step on the board and then that gets pulled and then it gets, it drops. And it gets stucky inside though. Um, you see, this is where we was planning on, we was thinking this is where they're coming at one point, right? They've been coming through these, um, through this fence. So on this side of the fence is, is McTab side, it's the marine side. And um, so people can actually hunt on this side, but you have to go to their their website and stuff. So we also blocked um we blocked these 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 holes over here so the pigs can't get in on our side. But you can't stop them, brother. If they wanna come on this side, they're gonna come on this side no matter what. Um but the McTab side, people can hunt archery. Um, they give you guys one, one whole section 
Um, if you guys get too archery and you guys like hot archery, go to Marine Corps or just type in McTab, McTab um, hunting or something like that. There's like a there's like a website that you can go to, and uh, you have to um, you have to go past a class. You have to have your hunting license and all that stuff. But go check them out because um, I know the applications are open. Um, I was gonna do it, but I was thinking, bro, I don't wanna do no 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 testing. You know what I mean? Like I already have my hunting license, my gun license, and everything. Like I've been slaying these pigs on this side, on our side, for quite a long time already. But um, I might I might start uh, doing that side too. Um, just to just open open game, uh, you can open shoot over there with your bow and arrow, compound bows and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's on this side. So we're gonna go and check some more other, other traps. Let me see. Let me, let me think. Let me think. Uh, I think we get three more traps. We're gonna check. Three more traps. I'll show you guys one of our snares that we set up to. I have, a, I have a snare set up over here all the way at the end. And um, I think I'm going to hang them up because the baby pigs are going through them and not the bigger pigs. So see you in a little bit, cuz. All right. So, yeah. What's up? What's up? We'll go back. We'll go back. Anyway, yeah, we just, just want to talk story because uh, the trails are long. The roads are super long and it's kind of boring, quiet in here. With my with my son Junior, son, what's your hat? Yeah, you hunting with dad? What you learn about pig hunting or trapping? What you learn? That the pigs go what? How the piggy mate? Oink. Oink, cause is it? Give me that cause, Baba. Boom, la la. Ready? Boom, la la. All right. Yeah, just taking my son out with me Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, it's kind of crazy. Saturday, Sunday, like it's my son. Crazy. But just taking them out, get them used to. Um, I mean, I took them out a few times to uh, check the traps. So we had pigs in there. Um, he doesn't really, he, I doesn't really scare him, but you know, when they bang the cages and they bark like on fucking dog, then he kind of get a little scared. But I just gotta, you know, keep bringing, bringing him here. And he's gonna get used to the pigs and stuff like that. Um, I've never uh, dispatched or killed a pig in front of him, so I don't know how he might might scar him for life, or might give him nightmares. You know, blood gets everywhere and all that stuff. But he needs to understand and see the pigs first. Try to have him try to have him love the pigs, but also hate the pigs. You know what I mean? And teach them that they can be very super dangerous. Um, so we're gonna check this other. This is kind of a bigger trap that we have, or this is actually Mitch's traps that I'm checking. It's all brought on Mitch's traps over here. Um, he has half of the base. I have the whole base. I mean, I could trap where he traps, but nah, I don't need. You know what I mean? I don't need trap. Um, they basically government pays, brother. So he does trapping, he traps um, rats, mongoose, um, cats, pigs. Uh, oh, it's really bumpy over here, holy smokes. Uh, I mean, he traps, uh, he traps everything. Uh, me and him is trying to come together and uh, trying to come up with a plan so we can get rid of these peacocks that we have here. Um, there's over 60, 70 peacocks. Um, on this basin, they're they're fucking annoying as fuck, bro. They're beautiful creatures. Don't get me wrong, but they're so annoying. When I bought my truck, uh, so I, I'm a government truck right now, but I have my own Nissan Frontier 2021 full buy. But I had um, I like three days. I just bought the truck, paper plates, parked it in the back to go to work, and um. They they scratched they they hit my truck and they fucked my truck up a little bit so but um I'm take this real quick and show you guys this uh this other trap that we have over here Bobby you okay I'll be right back okay all right just don't want to take my son in and out of the truck because he took his shoes off 
So here's a here's, here's another pretty big uh, trail. I mean, trap right there. It's Brada Mitch's one. Um, also, again, Brada is on the money. Get one water sauce for them. Get cow cow auto feeder. Same trigger as the other one. This one is a little bit bigger, looks like. But um, I've I, before I started trapping here on the base, um, I used to watch him do his one, and I remember him catching up a huge red one in this one. So, yeah, Mitch is uh, Mitch is a crazy uh, hunter and um, and trapper. He's very good at what he does. Very good at what he does. He's also what he also is the. Uh, Rifle Association, I think he's like the president of them too or something like that. So if you guys uh, go to the Rifle Association and you see a guy named Mitch, that's Brada's, that's Brada's one, right there. Um, a lot of the hunters here on Oahu know who he is. Um, he also give away, he give away the pigs or he sell the pigs. So any pig you can get from him, any size, no matter what kind of size, usually like 50 bucks or or two bag feed that's what he does um for me i don't have that issue yet you know i don't i don't really have that issue where I, that i gotta charge people for for the pig so i mean i've caught right now we're up at 62 62 pigs this year so far um like i said i also stopped for a little bit for a little while because of um uh, because uh, I was fishing with my brother and we actually were supposed to go fishing this weekend But again, we woke up this morning and It was storming It was storming as hell And then we get these uh, we get the grounds brought us working right now They stay picking up the all the golf balls So if you guys ever come to Bellows Air Force Station you guys they go to miniature golf because come on down, bruh that is a rough job, bro. I'm telling you, that's a rough job what he's doing because I think he's bouncy as hell. All right, look at that. Working hard, brother. That's all, that's all. Yeah, so, yeah, if you guys ever come on uh, uh, Bellow Terrace Forest Station, come check me out. If you guys get access to the base, come check me out. Say, what's up, bro? And um, come, come miniature golf, you know what I mean? And given driving range too, so if you guys like pump some balls, you get some, get some, get a driving range over here too. So that was one of the bigger traps that we checked. Uh, now we are going to head and go check the. Um, we're gonna go check the. We're gonna go check the the other one that I told you guys about the snare. Uh, I have to pull some of my snares down. I have a bunch of snares up too right now, but they're not, they're not even going near them. Well, I'm not baiting no more. I'm not trying to, I'm not really paying attention to them right now. Cause right now I'm running, I think four or five traps. I think Mitch got like six, seven traps. So we got a good, we got a good amount of traps over here. Then people, I, I know, I know on the DMs guys are asking, People were asking questions about me fishing. Sorry, yeah. Sidetrack, sidetrack. But I know guys are asking me, uh, when is the next time I'm going fishing? Brothers, I, you know, I really can't really say because, um, like I said, uh, we just got to, the weather got to be right for me for go. You know what I mean? I know people are going to say, oh, you can ulu fish. And the best time is when it's storming and rough and rocky and sloppy and crazy. <coughs> I get it, bro. I get it. So let me see. I don't know. I might try. I might try to put up, put up a trap over here. But oh, okay. I see what somebody did. I see. So what happened was this fence was wide open, and this is where the pigs was coming. So as you can see. McTab them is actually doing their job or they're they're patching the fence because this is where the pigs is coming through over here uh, but I had a snare over here to catch the pigs but 
since they went patrol, they took my they took my uh, my snare that was on the fence. Uh, I would have I would have thought they would have just threw it over, but I guess not. I guess not. I guess they never. I guess they wanted to keep my snare. Like you shove them up their ass to fall, fall like a. Anyway, I mean I have hundreds of snares. I make them myself, so it's not too bad. I don't really care about it. Oh. Okay. So we're just trying to find another new spot for these pigs, um, so we can we can trap and we can trap or snare them. Oh, oh, looks like somebody was burning fucking donuts over here. Look at that. Donuts on the ground. Clowns. So, we also have, um, I'm sure you this little kind of crazy spot over here. So in this area, it's kind of funny because this is where they're in clear out. They're in clear out this whole place over here because they have to search the base out for um, unexplosive ordinance or whatever they want to call it. Um, but over here, <laughs> surprise, surprising or not, bro, because there's a lot of pigs that roll through this, this big area. So sometimes they sit behind this bush over here in a chair and I wait till they come out, and then I just plug them, pluggy. But yes, sir. Anyway, let's see where else we can go. All right, cause we're all there again. Checking the big, the big pan right now. Go, son. Keep going. Follow uncle. Oh, I got a pawn though. So yeah, cause we get one, we got one pretty big one. Nah, it's a tiny one. This is what is this? What 30 pounds? 20 pounds. Oh okay. yeah. Back up cause. So we get one piggy in here. At least we have a skunk. Ah pawn, we have a skunk today. No skunk. Not today. Not today, we're always catching bruh. Oh, out of what? 11 fucking traps. We got one fucking anorexic one. Now this one is about 20 pounds. I say like 20 pounds. Again, like I said, you guys always gotta have water, brothers. I don't know if that's fresh water, rain water. But it's water. Oh, let's see. Look, son, it's a piggy. Like poco. <laughs> okay. All right, well, at least we got one, cuz. All right. As you guys seen that boys, boys and girls, um, that we caught one, about 20, 30 pounds. Uh, but this one, we're actually not gonna give them away. We're actually gonna chop this one up. Um, not today, uh, maybe another day. We was gonna we was gonna dispatch him right now, but I figure ah, I don't wanna get too dirty. So I'm gonna send some of the some of my people to go and uh, water them and feed them. Let them know that we got a piggy in a trap so they can water them and feed them. And uh, that piggy is actually going to one of our other friends. Um, I don't know if he wants to like dispatch or he wants to get live, so. We see, we see. We see what's up. But um, that's my little adventure this morning with my son. So we do on the weekends most of the times. Or we go fishing, or we go beach, 
So every Saturdays I make it a thing with my son that we go out and eat. we either go hunting or fishing or just go swimming. Or we just go hang out, go hang out. And give mommy, mommy a break. Yes, yeah, son, give mommy a break at home. She's watching her Kardashians. <laughs> Holy moly. Actually, we'll take us to this one other trap over here and show you guys. Oh, big booga. Anyway, this is the other trap that you guys know about that you guys always see. Um, so this trap right here is a little annoying. Is uh, This trap can get set to after 7 o'clock at night uh, due to because of the fucking peacocks. Peacocks is always triggering this, uh, always triggering uh, the stick. It's it's annoying. It's annoying. The peacocks are annoying. So this one's we don't set to after at least around seven when the peacocks are in the tree, and then we bait it. And then usually we gotta come early, early in the morning to close the trap door because the peacocks end up going in there in the morning. And having a feast, bro. I've spent so much money on feed just for them for eat them, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That we, we were trying to come up with some type of a deal, you know, with the government or with with the major. See if we could just trap and release these peacocks or give the peacocks away. Or, or I mean, they're feral peacocks, so they're free game. You can kill them. But we can only get the okay from the major that's saying that, okay, we can dispatch them. But... Because they're so beautiful, they don't want they don't want people dispatching them, and people are gonna cry and complain. But I guarantee if that peacock wouldn't hit their trucks, they wouldn't complain after that. I tell you that, boy. But anyway, that is our little adventure for today, and um, it's a little vloggy hunting trapping, as we did this morning with my son. I don't know, he's already yawning there, already, this kid. I don't believe. Son, you tired? Tired? Let's go home and play with your dinosaurs. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get in the shocker. All right. The Tom shocker. But yeah, that's our, that's our day for today. Um, as you can see, we've we seen, uh, we checked our traps, checked all of our traps, showed you the traps. Uh, we caught one piggy, 20 to 30 pounds. Um, but this one is we're not going to actually give it away um, We're going to actually dispatch that to a, one of our co-workers that's going to take them um, You know like and subscribe You know what I mean always helps us out um, Follow me on the Instagram just underscore boost them uh, But leave a leave a comment down below boys. I, I know I know I never post for a little while And it's been a while since I post or maybe like two weeks or something like that um I've just been busy with work and the way the base is shut down and but we're up and running so we we cover the whole base on bellows um we also uh we also got the okay to take care of the front from the highway all the way back here so that's a lot more trapping a lot more hunting like i said if you guys trespass on here that's on you guys like if you guys come across my shit just leave it alone, okay? You know what I mean? But if I catch you guys on here, trust me, we're going to wrestle. Now, nah, I, don't, I don't really even care. Just just don't touch my shit. It, it is what it is. You guys, the, the SP is going to deal with you guys. They, they, they don't going to catch you if they catch you guys, but let's see if they catch you guys. But like I said, I'm not saying you guys can come on here and, you know, just don't get caught. Don't, don't get caught trespassing here. It's, uh, if they do catch you guys, you know, it's, it's going to be a hefty penalty, bro. You know, poaching, trespassing on government lands. You don't want to do that. It's not even worth it. I know people are going to say, you're so lucky that you got to, uh, you work there and you, you get to hunt the pigs. But the mountains, plant, the mountains in Wabanala get choked pigs, boy. It choke. You know, but like I said, that's for me. That's, that, that's it for me for today. And just a little vlog with me and my son and uh, hunting, trapping, checking out the traps and stuff. And just keep bringing my son out here so he can learn and the hunting and stuff like that. Yeah, Sonny? Yeah? Okay, what you say?
Just boost them. Yeah, yeah boost them. You say boost them. Anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your evenings, or whenever you guys watch this. You guys have a beautiful day. Have a blessed day. Slaying pigs, feeding families. That's what it's all about. Because um, but leave a, a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification card so you know when the, the videos go up go up live or when the thing goes up. Follow me on Instagram, just underscore boost them. Also, check out Boars No More. Uh, that's brother Mitch. Uh, he also has uh, some of those traps that we checked earlier today. That's his traps. And um, cause go on his Instagram. Congratulate him. He just had a baby girl. Cause congrats on him. All right. So anyway, until we meet again, my friends, aloha. And just boost them, Hoyt.